Welcome to Parenting Essentials for this week. This is the home of key strategies to parenting. You are welcome. I'm loving my house, and this is from TVD Styles. On today's episode, I'll be talking about ways to stop toddlers' tantrum. I want you to know that toddlers love clear directions. So ensure that your directions to your toddlers are very clear. Let it be in black and white. The second important point is for you to know that toddlers love routine. They don't like surprises. Let them know that this is what we do from when we wake up in the morning and you go to school or wherever you go. They love constant routine. If you are the type that always change your child's routine. Today you are here in the morning, another day you do something else in the morning and it's, there is no routine. Your child might end up having a constant tantrum. So you have to ensure that you have a constant routine. The third point is don't give in. Don't reinforce their behavior. I mean the bad behaviors. Don't reinforce your toddler's bad behavior because of what people will say. A lot of parents end reinforcing their toddler's bad behavior not because they don't know, but because of what they think people will say. Your child is crying for something and your child is already screaming and crying and you are not even home. You are already getting embarrassed. You don't want people to like, what is wrong with the child? You don't want people to judge you, is that a good mother? Then you give in. You give your child what you know is not good for your child that you are trying to stop your child from. It means you are reinforcing the bad behavior. And that is not good enough. Don't worry about what people say. You should know what you're doing. Know your role as the parent and know that you're giving your best to your child. Ensure you are not reinforcing your toddler's bad behavior. Another very important thing that I want you to know is most of the time, <laughs> Parents, especially mothers, they actually reinforcing their child's bad behavior without their knowledge. Note that tantrum is frustration based. Every tantrum is the act of frustrated child. Maybe they can't express their emotion. Maybe something they're just frustrated. I want this and I can't have it. I want a toy. I can't get it. Maybe you are in the, the, the grocery or in the hypermarket. Your child is crying for a toy and if they can't get it, your child tends to throw tantrums. Or I want to fix my shoe and I'm finding it difficult. Because of their impatience, they tend to throw tantrum. So as a parent, we have to know that tantrum is quite normal. Only for you to know how to handle it and to help your child get rid of his or frustration. So next week I'll be talking about uh, how to help your child express his or emotion. So which I think that is going to be in line with this. Next week Saturday I'll sure I talk about how to help your child express his or emotion. So I want you to know that it's quite normal for a toddler to have tantrum. It is frustration based. If they cannot get something done, they can throw tantrums. So, all you need to do is to form the habit of distracting your toddler during the time of tantrum or when you see a signal that your child is going to have tantrum now, have the habits and know the ways and the techniques or strategies 
that you can use to distract your toddler. For example, your child is crying for cooking and you know cooking is not good for your child at that moment. Try to distract your child from having a toy. Use a distraction method. And if you have tried all this and the child is still putting up a tantrum, just gently remove the child to a safe place. Listen to this. You've tried, you have done the right thing, but your child is still putting up a tantrum. Safely remove the child, put the child in a safe place, and look away. I'm emphasizing on this because I know a lot of parents, they use this method. They remove the child, put the child in a safe place, but they don't look away. You now sit down and looking at the child. You are still reinforcing the child's bad behavior. Okay, I'm still here. Mommy's still looking at me. Mommy's still watching after me. No. Ensure the place is safe. And don't just stay at that child. If you stay at the child, you are reinforcing the bad behavior. You are to look away. Let's not forget. Maybe your child is having a tantrum at the grocery or hypermarket because of a particular toy. And you said to your child, not today. But your child put up this bad, like bad tantrum. Like really, really embarrassing. All the place is shaking. Like he's shouting and ranting. What do you do in this situation? Oh, I just buy the toy because you know it's so embarrassing right now. Don't. Don't buy it. If you do it one time, congratulations. That is a permanent thing. Your child will cry because he, he, he or she knows I just need to scream and shout. She buy it. You buy it. Understand your child's psychology. Because you're already embarrassed. Because your child is screaming and shouting, which is not normal. And don't forget, if you don't fix that problem as a toddler, it's going to turn out to be a very big issue in the nearest future. So, what am I talking about? What am I saying? Don't buy the toy. Even if it's cookie, the fact that your child threw tantrum on a particular thing, don't give in, don't reinforce. It is a bad behavior. So, what do you do? You are asking right now, I can, I can feel you thinking, oh, so what do I do? It was so embarrassing, so I had to just pay. I had to just pay for the money. She picked it already and everybody was just looking at me. Let them look. Your child is your child. Don't forget you love your child and you want the best for your child. If you buy the toy, if you pay for the toy, it means you don't love your child and you want your child to be a very terrible child. All you need to do is pick your child, drop the toy and go. Pick your child. You might need to leave the full cart that you have already shopped for. And you know it's tiring. Imagine you, you've been in the mall like for one hour or two hours shopping and this happened. You don't want to leave your cart, but the best thing to do at that moment, leave whatever you're buying if you have not paid. Pick your child up and go. Don't wait. Don't think I have been here for two hours. It's a part of the sacrifice we need to pay as parents. It's a part of the sacrifice you need to give to give your child a better tomorrow. So, I believe that these few tips are going to help you in helping your child to stop tantrum, constant tantrum. And if you have more questions, because I know I've been having a lot of questions about the issue of tantrum. If you have more questions or you're not clear enough about uh, whatever I've said today, just email us. Our email is already being displayed on the screen at dvisionguide at gmail.com. You can also send us a message on uh, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and we're going to reply you as soon as we receive your message. Thank you very much for joining me on this great episode. 
this is an episode that uh, this is a topic that we can discuss for for three or four or as long as possible. It's a very important topic. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for always looking out. A great episode every Saturday. And thank you for your subscription. Thank you for those lovely comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing. And if you're new here, if you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Hoye Oye Lyle, and I am your parenting coach. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go, go, go. What are you waiting for? If this video has blessed you, why not share with friends and family and let them also be blessed and learn something. Thank you once again. Don't forget, I love you always. You are the best. Thank you for staying. Bye for now.